Well, I may uh, have jumped ahead of myself. My understanding was the county was intent to do the work yourselves um, and only have the grant paid for the materials. It's still real, it's still real money that we will take to I, I thought Trinity County was getting a, a part of the work they did reimbursed back based on a, the, labor. the they, they labor. are doing materials. They're doing materials only. They are not doing uh, labor. So see, see, see. There and that, what ends up? Um, that's another. There's there's a term local forces, mm -hmm. and then there, there's a term force account. Yeah. Force account, force account yes. means being reimbursed for your hours, being reimbursed for your. I mean, your, I your equipment use and all of that. That opens up a box that I'm not sure you really want to get into with this grant, but it's a, it's definitely a, an opportunity if you decide you want to do it. That, go ahead. But you know, right, it would be applicable now if we assign the uh, billable rate for a piece of equipment of loader or grader or based on fee rate and then, and then build that out based on the hours performed. So right. um, I don't I don't want to okay. I don't want to get too confused but uh, just the fact that you um, explain that it's a material only kind right. of speaks volumes. Well and and when when I'm thinking material only um, uh, and the, my understanding was that's what y'all were thinking so that you could use more money for materials to do more roads. Um, you may have just an offset of not necessarily doing many more roads, maybe some, you know, we don't know what the math is. I don't know what your, your employees are paid, what, you know, what the wage rate, I mean the um, FEMA rate for the equipment would, would, would run. So basically you're taking money that might go to the contractor and instead of putting it into your forces, that's, that's not necessarily going to get you additional roads or links. It's just going to complicate it more to do that because the pot of money of so many million dollars is spread four ways. So you only got so much money anyway, so you decide if you want to spend it on materials or if you want to credit it toward your labor. But I think that what the end result is getting more for the book. I got a question. Yes. Uh, precinct 2 is not interested in any amendment because my scope of work will require a contractor. Okay. If there's an amendment you said that will delay the whole process by more than six months, is it the whole ball of wax? Um, or just those it, ones that want to be amended? It could be. It could be um, the, a delay. Um, but before I said that, I would want us to investigate, and I think we can do this, having the engineer move forward, for example, with a 30% submittal only for precinct two, um, and just keep moving forward with yours and have another package for the rest of the county. Um, that's something that the engineer will have to decide whether or not they're willing to do that, because that is a, a burden on them. I know other engineers that have done uh, uh, something like that. Um, so, so my answer for that is I don't know, um, depending on whether the engineer is willing to split or not. Is so it be up to the engineer? Um, up to the engineer initially and then approval by the state. I think the state would approve two packages. In fact, I'm certain that they will. Um, but, but again, it's going to be you know, up to the engineer to whether or not they want to basically split packages. And, and, uh, the We've got the generator on the senior center that that's could be right. considered another. That's piece right. Of the that's that's to another keep going but, but, but still, it's you know it's something. To As for uh, precinct four, I've I've done a cost study on the mileage. Mm -hmm. If I get if I just to make an amendment for the material, I'm going to fix my I, I blade my roads up, pull my ditches, my wing ditches, and everything. My road will be ready anyhow for the rock. I can get where on um, where it is now. I can do it on one road. I can do about a mile and a half. If I just get the rock and do it myself, I can do seven miles. That's right. So that's what I want to go with. Right. right. From a, the auditor's office perspective, that absolutely. But if they put strings attached to it, has to be brought up to certain standards, and your people aren't don't do that. They, they take care of the road, I'm not saying that, but 
the judge and I ran into this with the home grant. You know, the entire home had to be brought up to federal standards, electrical, plumbing, whatever, when we were just talking about doing the roof. We weren't talking about electrical. So that, that and I'm just throwing that in. That's something that we'll have to what make sure of. What other standards are you going to come up with? We've got dirt roads. We're trying to better them by putting road base on them. Right, absolutely. So that's the standards that, that the state would come up with by the compaction or whatever on the, that's the, what they the would. road base. Right. And so in your scenario, what you're, you're uh, planning on doing is just materials only yes. and not getting reimbursed that's, by... That's fine. Okay. Um, and there, there's a paperwork component that y'all are not going to like on the getting reimbursed either. But that's another story. Yeah, that that's that's really if I can get the material, I can handle that. Okay. Yeah, force accounts are big. Y'all yeah. are going to pay the trucker and the material and for the culvert. The, 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 the grant will pay it, the, the engineer will design it how y'all right. are specifying it, and yes, the grant will pay for, for all of that. Well, no, 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 no. Us and we pay them. No. Uh, so y'all won't pay them. It'll flow through you still. Yes. Well, actually, it, it flows more specifically through the county itself, mm -hmm. not necessarily a, an individual precinct. So if you bid it out, you have a, um, a, a company that comes out. They basically do all the work. They 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 invoice, and it comes through the county. So it's not an either or. It's not either we as the county are going to install culverts and drainage systems, and uh, or the or the general contractor is going to install it. It can be split so that you had indicated that uh, you want to do the roads, but you. Didn't. All we want is the material, in my, in my case. Mine too. But I'm concerned about how y'all are going to pay these truckers. I well, don't think y'all are going to get no truckers to haul for 90, to wait 90 days for their money. No, and, and, and that's going to be, that, that is a it's bit of an the, issue. That's the streets. Because, because I don't think you're going to find them. I don't think you're the trucking company that can right. stand that right. Mm -hmm. but that's exactly right. And that is a problem. I'm glad you brought that up because they are not fast in paying um, uh, on, on these funds. Uh, no, they don't pay you, don't they? You know. <laughs> I don't see the cost of not fast. No fast. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it may not be 90 days, but... But I think a trucking but company needs to be prepared for yeah. that. And, and so whereas when you have a general contractor, they basically understand when they're going forward that they're paying those truckers, subcontractors, everybody else out of their pocket. I don't think we could afford to pay them and wait for the money. Right. So what's the next step on this? Well, that's y'all's call, whether, whether we're um, uh, uh, going to uh, issue an amendment now, later, halfway, or, um, you know, the... It's did you say it would be, did you say, now let me recap, that it would be easier to go ahead and get a job? The costs are going to be separated out anyway, material costs versus labor. That's what you said, Ray, and then after that, then you would know exactly how much material you would have. Is that what you said? Uh, the way to do the amendment after the bid. If you bid it out as a package um, uh, bill for um, just materials only, um, then, then yes, I would wait. I would go ahead and do that. Wait until later. Put the amendment in. But but I want to say this also because this is you know our the general land office has a has a habit of changing rules midstream. Right now, it's fine to do that. And I, I shouldn't say the general land office. That's the nature of, of government right now. Um, we could say, okay, let's go forward and, and do this and put in our amendment, and they come back and say, you know, we decided not to take any more amendments well, because they have a project someplace else, you know, that they want to fund or, or something of that. And they, I, I don't know. Are we at risk of, of if we bid out the materials only? The cost is the, the cost of the project is going to be less than the total would have been under a general contract, obviously. That's right. So those funds that would have been allocated for a general contract to do the work, are we at risk that we lose those 